a hot and steamy August the 16th is on the books here in Wall Street. Here's the New York Minute. It's been a poor day for world stock markets, which uh, closed at their lows here in New York. Bond yields have risen. And that's despite a weak dollar that you would think would have helped US stocks. I'd like to suggest that that uh, weak dollar has been somewhat overdone. Let's start by taking a look at sterling. Uh, it looked uh, earlier on today as though it might threaten its 31-year uh, post-Brexit low. Instead, it's recovered very strongly against the dollar, largely thanks to the UK inflation numbers that suggest that there are limits to how dovish the Bank of England can be. If we now take a look at the yen, that went through the very significant barrier of 100 yen to the dollar for a while, and that's hard to explain. The main explanation being given out there is that uh, the market is betting that the Fed is going to stay lower for longer on rates, but if we take a look at what uh, details we had from inflation today, this is core inflation excluding uh, food and fuel, you can see it's above their 2% target. The New York Fed president himself said that they could raise rates as early as September today. Even if you don't believe him, it sounds to me as though dollar weakness has been exaggerated. And that's the New York Minute.